This morning, we're going to find a bus and we're going to go further north into Russia, into deepest Russia. I'm going to try and get to a republic called the Komi Republic. It's a couple days away, but we're going to make it. Join me on the journey to the Komi. Yeah. Давайте позвони милиции, если хотите. Давайте. Давайте. This man is going to call the police because I'm filming in Russia. Давайте, я жду. Вы позвонил? Позвонили или нет? Ты организацию скажи, кто ты такой? Кто вы? Милиция? Я просто хотел снимать эти интересные советские кабинеты. А вы хотите сказать, что это нельзя? Почему? Потому что это частная территория, здесь нельзя снимать. Это частная территория здесь, да? Да? Well, the trip to Comey's got off to a rather interesting start. We're here at the bus station. Look at the old Soviet bus station. How many times will I say Soviet today? <laughs> Let's have a guess. More than a hundred or less than a hundred? Let's see. Check out this pretty epic car. Check out this Russian car. <laughs> what a beast. Check out the steering wheel. Wow. That's how you cruise, that's how you pimp up your Volga here in um, Yoshko Ola. This lovely young lady has found me a bus ticket to Kirov in an hour and a half. We're going to go and buy it together. What? I cut Kirov, normal place. I haven't been there yet, I'll tell you honestly. Okay. When I come back, I'll tell you how. Okay. Все? Все? Да, вот спасибо. Сегодня? А, сегодня, да, да на следующий, да. Да. Спасибо. Хорошо. Вот сколько вы хотите мне вернуться? Час? Да. If you want the classic Russian experience, you've got to have a kvass. A kvass from the street, from a street vendor. Here is one. Здравствуйте. Самый маленький, пожалуйста. Сколько вам? 12. 12, хорошо. Here it says, mum, dad, brother, sister, and they all love Kvass, my family. And there's a little Russian family. Although I've never seen a Russian kid wearing one of those, to be honest. But anyway, Kvass. <laughs> Russian people love Kvass. Best Kvass in Yoshko Ola. Да, один. Путешествие один, да. Приключения. Экстремальный туризм. Все понятно. Хорошо. Не боишься? Не, боишься что? Я мужик. Всякие жулики, жулики. Это кто, криминал? Бандиты. Бандиты? Русские бандиты? Да. Ну, надеюсь, что они не будут трогать меня. It turns out that the bus to Kirov is full. So, I'm going in this motor here. Is it a larder? Is it a larder? I don't know. It's a Datsun. But yeah, so we're going to hit the road for about five or six hours on the road to Kirov. Let's do it. Wow. Doing it in style in a Datsun. I said that this is a Russian, this is a um, Japanese car or something, a Datsun, Korean, Japanese. They said, no, it's Russian. They opened the bonnet and then they said, look, Russian. Look at that engine. <laughs> that ain't no Japanese car. Let's hope it makes it to Kirov. They obviously make Datsuns in Russia. Who knew? We've made it to Kirov. Thank God. We're here at the hotel, here in Kirov. Bloody hell. What's this place? Let's check it out. Fancy. Fanciest place I've been in. Maybe you want a uh, better room. Really? Is it this very bad room? room? Is this room very economic. Uh, I like economic. Uh, 
for, uh, for marriage, honeymoon, marriage, honeymoon couples. marriage people who are married. I have, I have no wife. <laughs> Maybe you ready? Uh, ah, church. In in city, yeah. you look. Yeah, nice girl. Okay, I'm Russian gonna girl. girl. Okay. And marriage. Okay, let's do it. That's the plan. Let's find a Russian wife. What's do you this? smoke? No. Mm -hmm. Only heroin. This room. Yeah. One thousand and eight ah. hundred. One thousand eight hundred. Yes. I see. Wow. I like the color scheme. Maybe. Okay. I give you one thousand five hundred for this room. One thousand five hundred. Deal. Yeah, yes. Okay. Let's do a deal. Well, I've just checked in after having every single page in my passport scanned for some reason. Took ages. Check out the bed. <laughs> oh, excuse me. The colour. Wow. I have a feeling there's been some sweet love made in this bed before. Look at the state of that. Wow. Russian provincial designs. All right, let's have a little... It's raining, but we'll have a little five-minute walk on the streets of Kirov and see what it's like. Let's go. It feels weird being in a big city again after I've spent so much like time over the last week in villages and stuff, smaller towns of Russia, and now I've come to a big northern grey city like Kirov. It's a bit intimidating. Hello. You alright? Yeah. Good. Hopefully they don't mug me. Um, yeah, it feels like I feel, what's the word? Discombobulated. There's a bloody word I've never used in my life before. It just feels weird being surrounded by noise and stuff and giant men in statues and grey buildings. I mean, as cities go, it's not the most beautiful. Crikey. And there seems to be like, just loads of young lads everywhere. That's okay, that crew's okay, that's a cool crew. But there's, um, there's got mixed too I saw earlier on the bus. What a place. I wanna go home. Mum, mum, I wanna come home, I'm scared. But there's always one thing we can do to cheer ourselves up, no matter where you are, and that is the Wall of Hotties. <laughs> Let's check out Kiro's Wall of Hotties. Let's see if there are any. Well, hello, Yulia Valeria. Oh my God. I've just seen the hottest policewoman in Russia. Wow, check out Mrs. Anna Andreevna. Okay, I like Kirov. Change what I said about it. I think Kirov's the greatest... Hello. Bloody hell. Need to buy some sharp clothes. I think Kirov's the greatest city in Russia. I've just decided. Arrest me, Anna, if you want. It's interesting to think that I've travelled so far from Brighton, my hometown, and come all the way to Kirov. I'm still in Europe. That's right, this is Europe. And Russia is full of these cities that we in the West have never really heard of. Who's heard of Kirov or Siktivkar? But cities with half a million people in them each. And they're European, but we've never heard them mentioned. People here are European, going about their daily lives, much like we do in the West, but here on the edge of Europe, near the Ural Mountains. And yes, this is Europe. Before people say, uh, Russia's not in Europe. Geographically, it's Europe. It's as Europe as Paris is, Kirov is as European as Milan is, or as London is. My battery light's flashing. Just to say, I found the cafe, I've got a beer, I think everything's gonna be all right. Don't worry about me, I'll survive. Check out these steps here in Kirov, where I am. These steps are as bad as the ones in Kishinev. Look, broken, make a noise and you walk up them, rattle. Trip hazard for old babushkas. That's why babushkas always end up in bloody hospital with broken hips and stuff. Because look, bits of metal sticking out you can trip on. Hello. Why is it that governments and city councils struggle so much to build a pair of decent steps? Oh, is it that hard? All right, the plan today is to get out of Kirov for a couple of hours and go to a random village. We're gonna go to a bus stop, the bus station, buy a ticket to wherever and see what happens. Beat sitting around in my hotel room all day. Let's do it. Здравствуйте. Я хочу купить билет до города или деревни, который может быть час отсюда. 
Ну, просто хочу путешествие, посмотреть русские деревни. Где можно? All right, the lady in the ticket office, she said that I should go to a town called Morigina. There's a bus leaving after 20 minutes. Let's go and check out Morigina. Never heard of it. I doubt you have either. Unless you're from Kirov, you might be thinking to yourself, what the hell is he doing? Are you excited for this journey to wherever we're going? I've forgotten the name of the town we're going to. How do you feel about it? Are you excited to see what it's like? A real Russian village in the north or city? I have no idea what it is. I am. And look at all the Morigana people going to Morigana. What a bunch. Actually, not that many people going to Morigana, it seems. Just me and about seven other people. Which doesn't bode well for the city, town, village. Let's see. Let's give it a chance. Well, we're here in the town. Let's check it. Let's see what it's got to offer here in whatever it's called. What is it called? Morigana. Let's check out what Morigana's got to offer. And there's a dude filling holes in the road. Wow, what a job. At least someone's doing it. Let's stay at this road. Russian roads, not the best. Let's check it out then. Let's see what this gold and yellow church is like here. In the middle of nowhere in Russia. Literally the middle of nowhere. I don't know where I am. Am I north of Kirov, south, east or west? Let's see if we can go inside here. Let's see. Will it be open? What do you reckon? Vote now, yes or no? Obviously bloody not. It says here, Biblioteca, which is library. Oh, right. I'm being shot at. Let's see what a Biblioteca, a library, is like in this town. Something to do. I mean, what else are we going to do while we're here? Let's check out a Biblioteca. Where's the entrance? Is this the old Biblioteca? Yes. Здравствуйте. Просто, ой. Старые советские здания. Но еще. Старые советские здания, но еще красивые. У вас есть библиотека, да? Да. Можно я посмотрю? Просто интересно. Можно. Поднимайтесь по лестнице направо и до конца по коридору. And that was an old Soviet woman who had no idea what I was on about. You see, people don't really think, oh, this is a Soviet building, wow, no one gives a shit, only me. So when I say, wow, it's a Soviet building, people are just like, yeah, and, <laughs> like I'm a nutter. Look at the local pop group. The Volkalny Ensemble Zaryanitsa. Look at them all. Or here. Check out the Babushka Pop Group. Bet they've got some awesome, awesome songs. Right, where's the Biblioteca? Look at this lovely pink salmon colour here in this Soviet library we're about to see. Let's check it out. Просто хотел посмотреть маленькие библиотеки в деревне в России, если вы не против. Вот здесь читали, да? Ага. А, здесь люди приходят читать. Понял. Хорошо, красивый, нормально, современный. Ну да. Не так советский, как... Да, да, да.
А кто использует это этот съезд? Это дети еще или старики, или кто более кто использует? Кто к нам ходит в библиотеку, угу. у нас библиотека для взрослого населения. Понятно. Начиная от 14 лет дети могут. То есть от уже... 14, да? да? Понятно. Так, если 13 и хочет э, прочитать, нельзя. Ну, нельзя, нет паспорта, потому что только с мамой и с папой. А, так строгий режим у вас есть. у нас есть еще детская библиотека. Интересно. А вы нам расскажите, откуда прибыли? Нам интересно. Откуда я? Да. Англии. Англии. Ну да, далеко. Далеко. Да, я... Какими судьбами? Да, 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 случайно. Да, ну просто я здесь... Я хочу путешествовать вокруг России, всей России. И, ну, знать, что это Россия. Потому что у нас есть много миф в Англии про Россию. Много пропаганды против России. Так я хотел видеть самой глазом, что здесь, как люди. Как живут? Ну? Хорошо живет. The Soviet Library. What lovely people they have here in Russia. Always friendly, always open. Спасибо. <laughs> Здравствуйте. <laughs> this apartment building behind me, this five-story apartment building, is how most Russians live outside of maybe Moscow or St. Petersburg. All across Russia, you'll see these five-storied apartment buildings. Lives, marriages, breakups, murders, all kinds of stuff going on behind those windows. In Soviet times, if you built an apartment building over five stories, you had to put a lift in it. And so to get around that, the hassle of putting a lift into a building, wait there, I hope I don't get splashed, They, the designers and the architects deliberately built buildings under five stories or five stories and under just to save them the hassle of putting a lift in basically. And that's why these buildings are what you see from here all the way to the Sea of Ochotsk, all the way to Kamchatka, to Anadir up in Chukotka. Look the same everywhere. Something Russian people love doing as well is to decorate their gardens outside their apartment buildings. So you can see here the nice flowers that some babushkas made, little garden. And here they are excellent at making sculptures out of tires. This is a tire turned into a swan. They cut the tires in a certain way and paint them. And then they make like things out of it. Or here we've got some sunflower, you know, the ring around the sunflower made of a tire. Pretty funky. This is a bit of a Bakhmut experience, if anyone remembers the Moldova series. A bit of a Bakhmut experience. Sometimes that's just how it works out, you know? You go somewhere, you don't meet anyone, you go home. And I think that's what's going to happen now. Bye bye, shiny green bedding. Gonna miss you. And the curtains. Хорошо, очень приятно. Спасибо за все. До следующего раз. Надеюсь. До свидания. Time to go to the Komi Republic. Day three of the trip. We're gonna hear some Komi, hopefully. First, we got a seven-hour bloody bus journey. Ugh. We can do it. Каждый хочет любить. Bye bye, Kirov. Bye bye, hot policewoman on the board. I'm gonna miss you. Here we are then, bus station. Off to find a bus to sick Tivka. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is bad. By the way, what do you think of my cap? <laughs> Everyone said buy a cap, it's too hot here, it's too sunny. Keep the sun off your head. As soon as I bought it, this happened. You'll notice in Russian bus stations, when you walk in, there's always dudes hanging around, big groups of dudes. Don't be intimidated. They're just taxi drivers. And when you walk in, they'll say, Saransk, Moskva, Kirov. They just want to offer you a ride in their taxi instead of you taking a bus. Don't be intimidated by the Russian taxi drivers. They're friendly.
это сразу в аптеке. Гостиница, северная звезда. Знаете, Конечно. сколько стоит? 200 рублей. 200 рублей. А вверх куда? И Азербайджан. Азербайджан? Да. Салам. Салам. Мы приехали из Сиктивкар. И это выглядит немного грим. Ага. Здесь. А здесь что? Это город Кирьяз. Красный город. Раньше Кирьяз, на Кирьяз. Там весь мусор везде. Да. А раньше был чистый. А что случилось тогда? А вот после развала Советского Союза. Да. СССР. Да, да, да. Все стало и Россия грязной. А Россия кто хороший живут? Чечени. Казан, самый красивый город. Да. Сочи, Сочи. Москва. Мы Москва. Москва не... Да, Москва тоже. И Санкт-Петербург. И все. Да. До свидания. До свидания. Саул. Азербайджанский Саул. Саул? Да. Саул. Ой, еще раз. Хорошо, сделал. Вау, какой характер. И какой отель. Check this place out. The Hotel Northern Star. Crikey. <laughs> Is it a homeless shelter or a hotel? Let's find out. Average <laughs> Пожалуйста. Супер. Вау. No lift. Four flights of stairs. So, what do you reckon then? How's this room gonna be? What are the predictions? Four, two, three. Found it. Let's do this. И вуаля! О, вот! I wasn't expecting this tastefully decorated little number. Oh, I like it. Fridge, Supra Soviet TV, a nice bed, a nice tasteful picture of the Arabian Desert. Wow. Let's check the bathroom, which I have to share with room 422. They do that a lot in Russia. One bathroom for two. Ah, where's the light? Okay, interesting. I can work with that. I've stayed in worse before, that's for sure. Well, there you go. We've made it to beautiful Siktivkar. Let's have a look. Do I have a balcony? Oh my God, this place just gets better. I've got a bloody Soviet balcony. Look at my little Soviet balcony. Ah, oh, Siktiv car. What a beauty. We made it. The three day journey to the north is over. Thank goodness. Thanks for joining me. Until next time. Goodbye from Siktiv car. <laughs>